Hello, everyone. Today's poem is Xiao Ya, Cai Wei, Part Two. In the Part One video, we have go through the very、uh, fundamental, import important concept or term Cai Wei. The title Cai Wei, collecting a type of wild wedges. Well, actually, we don't、uh, quite sure about what type of wedges or grass it is. It's Could be used as a wild wedge for the Zhou people, and normally this collecting fruits, collecting wedges, is the task for women's back in home. So the poet, as a soldier in the battlefield, when he and his soldiers was collecting the、uh, wedges in the battlefield, this. Would very easily arouse their thinking to their、uh, wife, their home far, far from. So this、uh, writings, this terms,、uh, is so talented writings that it linked the battlefield with the home, their wife,、uh, together. Just by one word, and、uh, that's very naturally after this sentence, "cai wei cai wei," and then the soldier, the poet, expre- expressed his f-、uh, homesick. 越归越归 I want go back. I want go back. So basically, the first third paragraph expressed the homesick, the huge weariness of this poet. This soldiers、uh, toward his home, toward his homeland, and、uh, it also tell us some of the very basic stories. Roughly one year passed, and、uh, they have no information between each other, between the soldiers, the poet, and their families, far far from. Okay, let's go to the fourth paragraph. 比尔维和，维唐之华。What is that? That is the flower of the cherry tree. 比路斯河，君子之车。Whose chariot out it is? That's the chariot of the Lord. So basically, these two pair of sentences is telling the. Uh, same story. The cherry tree, Tang Di, actually is a alternative name for the Zhou people, or even for today's Chinese,、uh, the name of brotherhood or brothers. So it share a quite similar sounds as the、uh, brothers or cousins, Tang Di, and、uh, the flower name is. Tang Di is almost the same even till today, and、uh, so let's review the first pair of sentence. 比尔维和，维长之华。Who? What is that? That's the flower of the、uh, cherry trees. So Tang Di means the brotherhood, the brothers. So what is the flower of the cherry trees? It means the best part, the best man among brothers. So, what is the best man among brothers? So, the second pair of sentences: 比路斯河，君子之车 The Lord, the best man among brothers, is the Lord. So, this actually they are telling the same story. The first pair of sentences, the second pair of sentences, but they are telling in two different ways. So this is some of the very sophisticated writings to write some of the big figures, big guys.、Uh, who is that? Wow, he looks like the most beautiful, brilliant flowers、um, among those brothers. What's that? Grand, magnificent chariot out belongs to. That's the Lord's chariot. So just imagine how、uh, 
uh, how magnificent, how glorious this lot it is. Lu means the car, uh, but today Lu means the road, the big wide road. But in the old time, it means the the car, the chariot. Okay, let's continue. 戎车计价，四亩夜夜。戎 ，the very fundamental meaning is the weapons, and sometimes the single character 戎 means the chariot, uh, the car of war. And here 戎车 it tells us very clearly that's the chariot of the war, the that the lord was taken on. 四亩 Four male horses. 夜夜 means the horses is shining so brilliant, and、uh, so it's all the brag words for that lord. Who is that guy? That guy is the best man. Who whose car, whose chariot、uh, it is? That's the、uh, chariot of the lord, and the lord was. On that chariot, 计价 he was、uh, already start his journey on that chariot. The four horses shining.、Uh, so here, actually,、uh, from this paragraph, the sad mood totally changed because the first three paragraphs is with such huge sadness and. Worries toward his families, and here you can see everything is so bright, so brilliant, and so powerful. The Lord, it is of course the soldiers followed with that Lord is brilliant and powerful. 岂敢定居一月一月三街？呃、uh, ，How could you dare to stay down or just stay somewhere? Just in one month, we have three encounters with, or three contacts,、uh, three battles with the enemy. Uh, 岂敢定居 is just like today's、uh, language. How could you dare to stay、uh, at one place? Because for just for one for one month, we have three battles with the enemy. The the last term. 节 actually in today's readings, it means victory, but actually here's a long word to contact 节 So here it um it doesn't means victory. We have won the victory with, over the enemies. It means they have so many battles, and also to be careful with the number three. So whenever you saw the three in a classic Chinese literature poem, it always means many. It's not a real figure. It just means money. So <clears throat> here, actually, it refers. It tells us it has so many battles, contacts,、uh, encounters with the enemy, just within one year. Oh, sorry, one month. Now the fifth paragraph. 价比四亩，四亩葵葵。The Lord was driving the. Four horses. The four horses is so powerful and strong. So in this sentence, it didn't mention who the、uh, who is the subject. Basically, through the、uh, previous paragraph, we know is always talking about that Lord, and he used the Lord to resemble all the troops, all the armies. And the Kui Kui means powerful and strong. Okay, let's continue. 君子所依，小人所匪。So that chariot out was the Lord rely on. So the rely on has two meanings. The it's the real situation. The Lord was、uh, standing or sitting on that chariot, out, and his arm is on the. Fans of that chariot, and、uh, the also it also implies that the chariot is the most important、uh, things in a battle. That's the、uh, things 
the Lord, the army relies on to win their victory. 小人所肥肥 refers to the muscle in the lower leg, the uh the 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 back part, the back part muscles on the lower leg. So here it means, uh, just imagine your lower leg. In front was the bone, and、uh, the muscle was on the back. So that also implies the situation in the battlefield in the Zhou Dynasty that the Lord was on his chariot, uh, on in front, and the soldier, the normal soldiers, was at the back of the chariot, covered by the Lord. By the chariot, so they are very, very proud and noble peoples. They just like the、uh, knight in the Europe in the very many centuries later. They always, when in the battlefield, they are always at the very, very front line. 四母翼翼，象迷鱼伏。The four horses they are running. In the same rhythm, they are so disciplined, well trained, and the、uh, bow and the back of the arrows was shining, was on the laws. So, 四母翼翼翼 is des- describing the horse that is running and walking in a very disciplined, well trained way. So that means the 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 this. Army is well trained. Xiang Mi is、uh, refers to a decoration on the bow made of the bone of elephant, and、uh, Yu Fu refers to the、uh, back to hold the arrows, and it's made of the skin of fish shark. Normally, someone said it's shark, but I have a different opinion. It refers to the. Armor, the、uh, armor suit, and with、uh, the outlook is quite like the、uh, skin of the fish with so many、uh, shells、uh, together. 岂不日借闲云恐鸡 Why not、uh, to set up the guard line, the guard every day, because. The nomad invaders, the our enemies, are so quick. So here is two one borrowed words. Ji is equivalent as quick. Ji or fast. So xian yun kong ji kong means a、uh, very、uh, big.、Uh, so xian yun kong ji means the enemies. They are so quick. They move so quick. They are. Nomad people, everybody is on a horse, so they move so quick. 起步日记，呃、uh, ，so here it tells us they actually they、uh, set up their guard lines every day, and、uh, they are moving around all the time. So this describes the status of their、uh, battles or their everyday life、uh, in the battlefield. So the fourth and fifth、uh, paragraph basically、uh, describe a very powerful and strong and disciplined、uh, army through the outlook of the Lord, the general. Basically, the Lord, of course, is the general, and、uh, that's a very normal writing techniques、uh, in the、uh, Book of Songs. Whenever they write about the Wars. They never touch to the very crucial and bloody、uh, sense in the real battlefield. Normally, we write about something before the war, or something、uh, after the war, or something behind the war. Let's see the home, their wife,、uh, far, far from. So that's the three things. Normally, they will touch down. They never touch to the battlefield, the bloody battlefield. Okay, the last paragraph could be the most famous paragraph in the Book of Songs. 昔我往矣，杨柳依依
Those days when I, leaving my home, went to the battlefield, the poplar trees and willow trees they swing softly. So that means it's the spring's time, early spring's time. 今我来思，雨雪霏霏。And today, I, when I, I I'm on the way back to home, the snow was falling down heavily and flying all around. So here's two things: Wang is going. So the concept of between Wang and Lai is Wang is going. Away to somewhere, and the focal point normally is the subject himself or the home. So in this point, the subject is the home. All the thing is talking about is associate or about his home, his family members. So Xi Wo Wang Yi, when I live in my home, I am going to the battlefield. Jin Wo, Lai Si. Light is coming back. So today, when I'm coming back, it snows heavily, and the character Si has no meanings like a lot of the、uh, words in the Book of Songs. So this two pair of sentences was so called the most beautiful sentence in the Book of Songs. So you can feel that a little bit. So it describes the scenic wheels、uh, at the surface, the willow trees, the poplar trees. Was in the early springs, it's soft, it swings beautifully and nicely. But the real situation or the feelings within the poet's、uh, heart is. Sadness because he's leaving、uh, his home for the battlefield, and he even don't know if he could、uh, make a comeback. And he even cannot know through reading this poem. He even、uh, have no idea if his families will survive this disaster, survived、uh, from this war, and、uh, when the Soldier, this poet coming back, he should be very, very happy. He thought about his family all the time. We 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 can feel that through the whole poem. But the real scenic wheels、uh, contrast or revealed something really, really negative because the snow, the cold. Of frozen snows falling heavily. With these two pair of sentences, it never tells how the poet feels or what how sadness or happy it is. But you can feel a lot through the wills he described, and also、uh, the poet gave you a very、uh, sharp. Contrast the the wheels when he was living and the wheels when、uh, he's on his way back home, and with that contrast, you can have a much clear and profound understanding on、uh, something, but it's all untold. 行道迟迟，载渴载饥。My way back home, I walk slowly. Chu Chu, so they walk slowly, and I'm so thirsty and I'm so hungry. So it's something more and more clearly or confirmed our feelings through the previous two pair of sentences, because he should be very happy when on his way. Back his home, but it's snowing so heavily. We we have some of the feelings, something negative or something not 
、uh, right. And、uh, with this sentence, the poet, the soldiers, they walk slowly. It very clearly tell you they don't feel good.、Uh, there's something uh, bad uh, they have or they feel, and、uh, even. The poet mentioned we are thirsty, we are hungry. Is that the thing really made them、uh, not good? Of course not. Okay, let's continue the last pair sentence. 我心伤悲，莫知我哀。I'm so sad, and nobody knows my sadness. So finally,、uh, our feeling was convinced something really, really bad with this poet, with maybe with all the soldiers in these troops.、Uh, they feel so sad, and the th- more sadness is nobody knows you are sad because for a、uh, uh, general ideas. These people they survived from the bloody wars for many years, maybe many years. I'm not quite sure. Nobody's sure. Maybe,、uh, or at least、uh, one years of the bloody battles with the enemies. They survived, so they should be feel very luckily and happy on their way back home. So tell me, what do you think? The huge Sadness,、uh, this poet, and the, or maybe all the other soldiers, they feel. Here is a easy guess or easy answer for that. In the first three paragraphs, the poet, the soldiers, he express very straight forward. All his weariness is. About his families, and、uh, no matter how hard or how dangerous or how poor life he was living in the battlefield, that's not the main concern for himself. All his sadness, worries, is about his families. So, suppose. You are that poet. You are the soldiers with such a huge worry and sadness. When you、uh, approach to your、uh, hometown, to your home, one step by one step, the closer to your home it is, the worry actually didn't decline. The worry actually doubled or tripled. So, so that's the sadness this poet expressed through this poem, and、uh, so basically that's the very easy answer. But it could has more things. Let's see. Just give you an example. The poet went to the battlefield with three his brothers, and the other uh, three, uh, two. Brothers, they all died in the battlefield. So when he、uh, came back to his home alone, so what do, would this poet, this soldier, feel? Or maybe he lost one of his legs. He he cannot continue uh, to uh, to fulfill his、uh, work or his、uh, position in their family. He should、uh, to do something to feed the whole family. To go to the farming field, or he was he might be a craftsman. He should、uh, do the carpenter's work or the blacksmith's work. But without his、uh, one leg lost or one arm lost, he can can never do that again. So there's so many、uh, possibilities. But the most big sadness is the sadness toward his family. 
Okay, that's for today. Bye bye.